Alright, today I'm going to be showing you um, various multicolor LEDs. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that I've already done a multicolor LED episode, but I've got some new cooler ones this time. Because um, yesterday I got my dad to uh, take me over to Radio Shack and I had 20 bucks, and um, yeah. I came out there with, came out of that store with a lot of circuitry stuff. So, um, I have an old one here. This is a, um, it's a multicolor LED, um, and, uh, it has four leads, which is odd for an LED. Most LEDs only have two. The longer one here, this long one, is, um, is the ground. So that's how I know what to plug in where. And, um, these other ones, the shorter ones, they are, um, they do, um, they're like, well, they are, they're, um, the LED input, the negative side of the battery. I'm gonna plug it in, and I'll show it to you here. Good thing I brought an extra wire. I plug that in wrong. So it can do red. Here, I'm gonna make the camera put it at a better angle there. Red, uh, blue, and green. And that's because there are like three little LEDs crammed in. And it can also do combos. Like here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get it to do like uh like uh a uh, an aquamarine color using the blue and the green. Now with potentiometers, this is much more useful. Oh, the green's on, and that is bright. Um, it's hard to work with it being this bright. Yeah, I got that. Uh, oh, what did I do now? being real fidgety. I don't know what's up with it. But, um, there. That aquamarine color. So, um, whoop. I'm gonna, uh, move, I'm gonna move on to the next LED. Uh, this is a new one that I got from Radio Shack, and it is by far one of my coolest LEDs ever. Now, a few of them do this, but they're uh, much more expensive. Again, the longest lead is always the ground here. So I plug that into the ground. Wait, no, that's not ground. This is ground. Silly me. It's like 6 in the morning. Just got up. Yeah, I'm still like half asleep. Oh. Alright, oh. I do not know what is up with this breadboard. Yeah, I'm gonna plug it in up here then. See, look at that, it goes through a little light show. And, um, it moved those over there. And then I moved this one over. It still does that same light show with this with these leads, but also I can just turn it into a um into a uh, red LED if I want to. I'll show you. So multicolor LEDs are really can be really useful. Oh, wrong lead again. I'm probably still like half asleep. Oh, why aren't you working? Alright, I don't know why it's not working, but it can also function as a red one. I'm gonna try some other stuff out that's probably not gonna work. No. Oh well, it doesn't want to cooperate, but um, it can also work as a red LED, I found out. Because I read it before I made this, I was just goofing off with it. It's a fun thing to do. And um,. This is one of the most unique things that I have, one of the most unique multicolor LEDs. If it wants to work. Come on. Alright, so, um, 
on one side, well, when it's like this, it's green. But, if we take it, turn it around, so it looks like it's in the incorrect direction, it's red. And so this is made by having two LEDs, just um, one's facing one way, one's facing the other way. So it's, it's quite simple to make. And um, I'll make sure to make another video about um, even more uh, odd LEDs that I find. Just a preview for an upcoming video I'm going to make. I'm going to show you my one of the weirdest ones I got at Reader Shack. This is another one. It's not multicolor or anything. Just a square LED, like one of the things that you'll never see ever. And it's bright, too. Very bright. I mean, on the camera, it, um, it looks, it actually looks a lot brighter than it is in real life. Though I don't know why the spreadboard is not working. I'll make sure to check it out before the next episode. And another crazy one, just another sneak preview. This crazy thing here. Gonna try and plug it in. And that's the problem. Doesn't like to plug in. Um. Hmm. Well, I know how I'll do that. I'll just plug this lead in here. So this crazy little LED actually has. It's pretty much like a normal LED in a casing, except for it has extra long leads. So it can be like a little flashlight. I was originally thinking of using it in this uh, video as like a little laser pointer, but I trashed the idea. Um, uh, but, um, well, thanks for watching. Bye.